everyone, today I will be showing you how to build Scruff the Scruncher from Thomas the Tank Engine. Thomas and friends. So, Scruff here works at the Waste Dump with Whiff, who I will do a tutorial on eventually. And, um... That's about it. They're good friends. Scruff really doesn't like being clean. But I did a clean version anyway. Or my friend did. My friend in general... He built this model of Scruff, and he allowed me to tutorial it, and here he is, right now, Lonely Oz, built this Scruff, and I really like it. So without further ado, let's get to the tutorial. So grab a red concrete and place it three blocks above the tracks. Make it five blocks long. Add a border on each side with a dark oak trap door. If you don't know how to get a border, then, well, you can find it in my uh, Wilburton 16 tutorial. Take mangrove slabs and add them along the bottom half here. Um, dark oak fence in the middle with a dark oak fence gate facing this way underneath of it another brick fence and you want to take a cyan terracotta and make it nine blocks long so one two three four five six seven eight nine and then you want to make it so that there's uh, the same buffer beam in the front there is a minor change though. So add the borders, dark oak trap doors, dark oak fence. Have the dark oak fence gate here. Don't add the nether brick fence this time. And then add red concrete underneath of it. So it's a uh, like a thicker buffer beam. After that, you want to add cyan concrete to the sides of the cyan concrete you just placed. Make it three blocks wide. And then, you want to take cyan terracotta and drag it the whole way down here from back to front then you want to skip a block and add waxed weathered cut copper stairs like that a 4x4 four four of waxed cut copper stairs And you want to skip a block from the front and back on each side like that. And you want to copy that on the other side. Alright, so after you've done copying it on both sides, you want to add cyan terracotta in between all of it. Like that. Just to make it a bit more thicker. And then... You want to grab out waxed cut copper stairs. Right, so after you've added your wax, so grab your wax weathered cut copper stairs, just add it along the sides, and you want to do that on both sides. Add polished deep slate stairs upside down facing away from each other on each wheel like this and then add polished deep slate slabs on the bottom half of each of those stair sets of stairs like this that's pretty much the bottom half of scruff done 
After that, grab a green terracotta and make a 3x3 three three in the front. Then take out lime terracotta, add a green concrete above it, green concrete, lime terracotta above it, and then keep that pattern going from there. So lime terracotta, green concrete, green concrete, lime terracotta. And you want to add a lime terracotta on these two blocks right here. Make sure it's lime terracotta. Two blocks away from each other. On each side. Let's do this pattern. On this side. So green concrete. Lime terracotta. Basically what you just did. And then you want to grab. Green terracotta. Lime terracotta. Add this little row going through the middle like that. Make it two blocks wide. And you want to add an oak slab on the uh, bottom half like this. And that's going to be Scruff's nameplate. And then you want to grab waxed weathered cut copper slabs. Add the three. Replace the middle one with waxed weathered cut copper stairs. Have lime terracotta going through the rest of the middle and waxed weathered cut copper slabs on the uh, sides. Like that. And then grab a dark prismarine slab, put it right behind this stairs. Go to the cab and you want to add green concrete, lime concrete. Green concrete, skip a block, lime terracotta, green concrete, skip a block, green concrete, lime terracotta, green concrete, lime terracotta, green concrete, and then put green concrete above the lime concretes. Add lime terracotta above the green concretes, like that. And in the middle, you just want this to be lime terracotta the whole way. Make it five blocks tall. And then just add a row of lime terracotta above everything, right here. Go to the here. And add two lime terracottas, waxed weathered cut copper stairs, right here. Add lime terracotta right here, so you can place windows here. Do the same on this side. And you also want to add a temporary set of blocks to add the windows here as well. They're a little bit more complicated because of that. The windows are some of my least favorite parts when doing these tutorials because they're very uh, finicky. Anyway, next, you want to grab some different materials. I will be back when I have them in my inventory. Alright, so right here you want to add a warped pressure plate and an oak fence. Down here, you want to add a mangrove trap door right here on each end and then for the face you want smooth quartz on the upper half of this block smooth quartz block above that and smooth quartz stairs above the smooth quartz block and that's scruff's face 
After that, you want to grab out green concrete and just cover the front half of the running board, which is just these three blocks. Put a glow item frame above the lime terracottas you placed here. Grab polished blackstone brick slabs and have them throughout the middle three of Scruff's cab. Alright, now on each side of this part of the cab, you want to add a warped trap door like that. And then above that, add a dark oak trap door above all the blocks on both sides. And then you want to grab an oak slab. You want to fill this part in with gray concrete first. And then grab oak slab, fill in this part of the cab, and put oak trap door on each end. Now, there is an interior for scruff, but I won't show it in this tutorial. Um, pretty much, you just extend the gray part out. You add compasses here, and put a whistle chain there. I don't usually add interiors in my own worlds, though. But after that, that is pretty much how to build scruff in Minecraft. So I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to request anything in the comments. And see you in the next one.